Tomorrow, a glittering array of top show business personalities get together at the Hilton Hotel in London for the Variety Club of Great Britain annual awards, which reflect the outstanding performances of 1982, with the Premier Award going to the show business personality of the year. Terry Wogan and Ray Moore will be there to introduce the Variety Club Awards tomorrow at ten past eight here on BBC One. Before the next programme, here's Sue Lawley. <laughs> This is no ordinary motorist, in no ordinary used car. To get exactly what he wanted, he saw dealer after dealer, and he saw them all in one showroom, BOC. BOC, better people to buy from. Oh, when if my love, isn't it? <laughs> what about my father? Oh, he's still claiming, isn't it? <laughs> hey, give us a hand, boy. Oh. Hey, look at that. It's the new Seconda Quartz Analog. Amazing accuracy combined with the best traditional styling. And only £34.95. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Seconda Quartz Analog. Another time, Gwyneth, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of watch for a little money, isn't it? David Hemmings leads the way to a week of entertainment on ITV. We meet John Denver, the star looking for a good cause, and Lynn Martin, the man looking for a star. Consult our four-star guides. And how many meeting days to Christmas? There's still time to uh, Mr. Calder? There's a flavor the world knows for freshness. There's a flavor that always sees you through There are three ways to say it And anyone will do Just call it Wrigley's, call it Spearmint, call it gum There's a taste that the whole world relies on There's a clean, clear taste the world finds fun It's the taste that refreshes The taste buds of the world Just call it Wrigley's in Germany, Halston brew pills so that nearly all the sugar turns into alcohol. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the artist of them all? Pills from Halston, the art lager. <laughs> Endless handkerchiefs are the sign of a streaming cold. Contact 400 is a modern, effective answer. In each capsule, there are 400 tiny time pills that give you up to 12 hours relief from streaming eyes, a runny nose, and that blocked up feeling. So, which would you prefer? 12 handkerchiefs an hour or Contact 400? Contact 400 helps dry colds for up to 12 hours. Nothing's impossible, we have found Even though your feet are off the ground And the job's looking great Then she passes your gate And one bird brings the other one down Fresh Brew is a new tea from Thai Food With a new blend in a new bag And a really refreshing flavour that puts you right on top of it So pick yourself up Come on, Casanova, pick yourself up Enjoy a fresh cup It's a Fresh Brew cup And start all over again Fresh Brew, the start of Fresh Brew We've been searching for hours, Sergeant. I'm getting peckish. Yes, sir. It's fast. 
Only something pretty substantial could have caused that. Star bar. It's new, sir. Crushed roasted peanuts fused with chewy toffee covered in rich milk chocolate. It certainly sounds substantial, sir. Mmm, delicious. This could only be from another planet. It uh, says Cadbury's on the wrapper, sir. New Cadbury's Star Bar. It could be the end of hunger between meals as we know it. Most days, children are full of get up and go. But some days, they feel low. They're sick and off their food. They need special care from you to get better. And until their appetite returns, golden sparkling Lucozade can help. Lucozade isn't just refreshing, it provides glucose energy in the most natural form the body can take. Isn't it a comfort to know Lucozade aids recovery? Right, where's this lot from then, Colin? The planet Zanussi. Oh, yes, Zanussi fridge freezers, washing machines, tumble dryers, dishwashers. Boring. Now, you don't get craftsmanship like that down here, do you? No. You see, Colin, it's the appliance of science, isn't it? Oh. Right, take it away, lads. From Zanussi, the appliance of science. Crisis in the family. David Thompson reckoned he'd earned his Cadbury's dairy milk. It's the glass and a half of full cream milk in every half pound that makes it taste so good. Cadbury's dairy milk. Have you earned your bar today? Every day, every way. Glad you chose a Thompson holiday. Faces new, faces too, but always there. That Thompson care, the way it was last year. It's a fact. More people come back with Thompson than any other holiday company, which must mean that they enjoy a Thompson holiday more than any other. Thompson, take the care you're free to enjoy yourself. 50p a day. That's what your Daily Mirror is worth for 10 days when you shop at Tesco. Just snip cost cutter tokens from the mirror for money off the items you need most. Eggs. Potato. Tea. Bacon. Beans. Sugar and lots, lots more. You can save a total of five pounds. Cash in on this big bargain bonanza. Plus a great fun contest. Win 500 pounds of free shopping. You can't afford to miss this week's unbeatable Daily Mirror. Get it tomorrow. Well, mainly I get spots around my chin, mainly. Um, I've tried everything, but nothing seems to work at all. So we challenged Mike to try the Topix five-day test. Why should Topix be any different, though? Because it works fast. Topix kills bacteria inside and clears away infected skin outside. Five days later, and how are the spots, Mike? Well, they're much better. I don't think Topix would be so good. Try the Topix five-day test. You too could see the difference in five days. Anyone who thinks that army training is just playing at soldiers should have a crack at a major night exercise. On our first patrol, the objective was to suss out the enemy's positions and get back to base with the information. We were just starting to think it was a piece of cake. Some bad 
bad news for you, lads. I'm dead. Thought you looked a bit pale, Corporal. It's no joke, you. Plumpton, you're in charge. Don't forget your training. Take them back. The next five hours was a real bottle tester. I'll never forget it. Of course, you knew they were our own blokes, but it didn't half give you the creeps. made it back to base to be recognized. and I'll tell you it was just about the most satisfying thing I've ever done in my life well lads you just spot a transport then want to make something of yourself we're in the phone book under army the upper class break the ranks for them they've even raid the piggy banks for them can't resist them Cadbury's cream eggs shy debutants in a trance love them Puts them under a spell, one tiny glance at them. Brings them out of their shell, little boys with a feel for them. Are quite prepared to do a deal for them. Can't resist them, Cadbury's cream eggs. Tell you. Deep in the pine forests of Europe lies some of the most grueling tests ever devised by man. Chambers that sear at 22 degrees above boiling point and can freeze to minus 40. Machines that shake, pull and stretch 200 times a second. All these tests of endurance were built by Ford to test the Ford Granada. A car engineered to be durable and reliable. A car engineered to be quiet and comfortable. A car with all-round independent suspension. A car engineered to be sure-footed and to cope with the worst moods of nature. The luxurious new 1980 Granada puts the emphasis on engineering. Take one for a test drive. How does this sound? A glorious seven-day holiday to the beautiful Austrian Tyrol for just £79. Pounds. This summer plan price includes travel and half-board hotel accommodation in delightful Meierhafen and applies any time throughout the summer. So it's £79, pounds. even at the height of the season. Summer plan. The people who really know Austria. When it's cold, it's heat of bix When she's choosy, it's not too sweet of bix When he's hungry, it's heat of bix When they need energy, it's run down the street of bix With all the goodness of wheat, it's complete of bix No wonder wheat of bix is unbeat of bix Have you had your daily wheat? in the ice box. Come on over. Whole lot of good things going on. Took in the Kentucky Fried Chicken, baby. If you find yourself miles away from lunch, just stick out your hand for a Cadbury's Double Decker. Under the thick Cadbury's milk chocolate, there's a unique double filling. Downstairs, it's crispy in a crunchy sort of way, and this mingles with a chewy, rather satisfying top deck. So don't forget, if you're feeling peckish, just stick out your hand for a Cadbury's Double Decker. The double filling bar for the double filling feeling. Starting tomorrow in the Daily Mail, a car a day for 12 days must be won. 12 great cars, like the Innocenti Mini, the rugged Vauxhall Chevette, the sturdy Volkswagen Golf, the snappy Talbot Horizon, the successful Austin Princess, the speedy Ford Granada, and the Daily Mail star prize, the Opal Senator. A car a day for 12 days must be won, or a cash prize instead. Starting tomorrow, only in the Daily Mail.
Thank goodness some humans really appreciate their food. They understand that we cats are finicky. I insist on my life's cat food. It's so delicious and full of only really choice ingredients. Today I think I fancy bum 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 tuna. Oh, yeah, I can hardly wait. Oh, thank you, Mum. Thank you, Nine Lives. Shouldn't all cats have nine lives? Well, you bet. Think of a country not far away, as beautiful as this. Where you can enjoy a holiday as tranquil as this. And as relaxing as this. And where the roads are as empty as this. Now think of a country that still has room for everybody. And still has time to make friends with them. When you've thought, ring up for a copy of this book. It's yours for the asking. And you're very welcome. Just ask anyone who's been there. Ferric cassettes. Recordings are sometimes distorted on the higher notes. BASF chrome cassettes sound sharper because they're more receptive to high frequencies. So switch to BASF chrome cassettes for spot on sound. Some hair needs a conditioner because it's damaged. Some because it's dry, or greasy, or flyaway. Cream Silk make a complete range of conditioners with natural ingredients to keep every kind of hair easy to manage and looking great. Cream Silk, great conditioners for your kind of hair. How are you, Ken lad? What you going to be then? Never known to EMI bring you 24 of the happiest children's sounds. <laughs> Nearly the elephant dumped her trunk and said goodbye to the circus. Our boomerang won't come back. Today's the day the teddy bears have their fear. The runaway train ran over the hill and the last we heard she was going to... <laughs> All aboard! 24 original tracks for $3.99. Your Cinzano Bianco, signora. Thank you. Ah, yes. Gracias. Ah, oh, due. No, 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 no. Mine was a Cinzano as well. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, can't you just smell those Italian wines? Suffused with herbs and spices, spices from, from four, four continents. Why, being boring. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right. I'm getting ahead now, sweetie. Jolly good idea. From the house of Cinzano, Cinzano Bianco. Wherever scholars gather together, you'll find an atmosphere of true dedication. Where scholars discuss current affairs. Most you're not the bad way now. It's up there from the air dresses, isn't it? Where they weigh up important issues. This one's mine. And where new scholars are always welcome. Hello. Even if they bring their own work with them. Because every scholar appreciates a refresher course. When you know Lager, you're a scholar. You're holding a breakthrough in portative camera technology. Look, all he's trying to tell you is that Vivitar have a great new pocket camera. Oh, just the integrated automatic film advance facility, delivering... All he means by that would have to wind on, because there's a built-in motor that does it for you. Plus an incorporated flash assembly module. Or, in English, you can take pictures any time, day or night. And in any language, that makes it the best pocket camera yet. A and B, open evenings and all weekend for a better deal in Datsun. Free cleaning at Johnson's. Bring any three garments, pay only for two. Offer ends Saturday.
Check out a world of Christmas giving at Tesco Home and Wear. Pretty up with brawn curling tongs. £5.25. Oh, for Hoover Steam Iron, £10.99. Help yourself to an Echo Toaster, £12.99. A Clairol 1200 hairdryer, £9.99. Check out a world of Christmas giving at Tesco Home and Wear. This Christmas, give someone the chance to keep the whole of next year's memories. Those moments that only happen once, keep them with Kodak. Because Kodak cameras are also easy to use. There's the new Kodak Extra camera with a steadying handle and a built-in flash. Then, the new Kodak Instant camera gives all the fun of instant pictures with the good color you'd expect from Kodak. And you'll be glad to know you can get copies made. Now, for someone's first camera, the Kodak Pocket A1 camera takes big, beautiful pictures almost twice its size. Have a happy Christmas, a colorful new year, and give someone the chance to keep it. Keep it with Kodak. Martini is times to remember. Martini is a flavor that's out on its own. It's the right one, the bright one, the right one. That's Martini. Martini is... When the grouse beaters are not entirely satisfied with the view from the pub, they're likely to make a couple of wee changes. Hey, hey, General, go and see to that cliff, would you? Oh, damn, lose that lighthouse, would you? But there's one point that's always to their satisfaction. McEwen's Lager. A little more body and flavour for a lot more satisfaction. It's a grand view you have here. Only McEwen's Lager satisfies the grouse beaters. Tomorrow, the winds of war comes to Channel 4. The epic saga of one family's experiences at the start of the Second World War. In the end, there's only one thing we have to know about the Germans. How to lick them. Your ancestry? Italian. Your name? Mona Lisa. Herman Wook's The Winds of War starts tomorrow at 5 o'clock on Channel 4. In a moment, there's a battle of a different sort when Derek Nimmo heads a new challenge in Television Scrabble. On BBC Two now, Newsnight, and here on One, in a couple of moments, we join the action at the Royal Albert Hall in London. Tomorrow night on BBC One, in the first of a new series about the Dorset men, a visit to the Isle of Portland. Famous throughout the world, the place that supplies a distinctive stone. The Portland people quarry at sea as well for lobsters, mackerel and of recent years the spider crab, which now finds a ready market abroad. The trades and traditions of the Isle of Portland are revealed in the first of a new series called The Dorset Men at 10.40 tomorrow night here on BBC One. The strike in Britain's shipyards due to start tomorrow has been called off. That's all from me for now. I'll be back at 5 to 12 with the late night headlines. This is BBC One. And now tonight's international tennis from the Royal Albert Hall. It's introduced by... Barry Davis. Oh, I wouldn't have said that. Uh, yeah, the clock's tell better than I can. Oh, Willie, you've done the double. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank Back you very much. Now to Ken Butler.
And Dick Hollingsworth, the owner, not only does he get a very nice prize for winning that, but he also collects a, a Phillies premium. Both the first two collect Phillies premiums. They were owned and bred in this country. He gets an extra £4,900, so it pays to breed Phillies and keep them in England if you can. Well, that's it from uh, Epsom this afternoon. Incidentally, Bruff Scott's on parade at Pease Lake near Dorking tomorrow afternoon, giving pony rides in the day to the local school charities. If you're in that area, do go along and you'll give you a pony ride if you fancy that. That's all we've got from Epsom. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Find a winner or two. Time for me to say goodbye to you from Epsom and return you to Dickie Davis in the studio. Yes, the end of a marvellous four-day stint. I hope that you've enjoyed our presentation from the summer meeting there. Our thanks to Ken and the boys there today and also to John Oakesy and everybody at Catrick. Now, at the end of next week, our ITV racing cameras will be at Sandown for three races starting at 2.25 on Friday and then sharing uh, an ITV7 with York on Saturday in World of Sport. And I just bring you right up to date of the first test at Trent Bridge. Uh, the West Indies were all out for 308. That meant a first innings lead of 45. England in the second innings are 7 for 2. Graham Gooch was run out for 27. Tavery out caught Richards Bogan for 4. And at the moment, Boycott is 24 not out. Woolmer has yet to score. England 70 for 2. That means they now lead uh, by 25 with 8 wickets standing. We're going to take a short break. Then we'll be going live to Wembley for the Schoolboy International, England versus Scotland. That's next on Word of Sport. Use a biscuit base instead of pastry. No baking, just add an egg to the lemon. It's very quick and easy. But the flavor, ah, the flavor. It reminds people of home. Royal lemon pie mix, just like mother used to make. Next time, Ask for a pint of dry blackthorn cider from Taunton. You'll enjoy a cider that's been blended, fermented, and then matured in oak. Strong, refreshing, dry and full flavored. Ask for a pint of dry blackthorn cider from the Taunton Cider Company. trying to call you all day. The most successful oil field in the North Sea. Is it American? One of the world's biggest shipping fleets. Is it Greek? Pioneers of the most ambitious oil pipeline ever built. Were they Russian? One of the largest suppliers of animal feed to Europe. Are they French? They're all part of the same company. One of the most successful companies in the world. And it's... At this point in the commercial, viewers are advised to sit down or stand well clear of fragile objects. Well, actually, it's a British company. It's so British, you may not have heard how successful it is. BP, Britain at its best.
traditional shirts of dark blue, England of course in white. Well now the time is 19 and a Go. Do not collect two hundred. <laughs> Do not collect anything. <laughs> Aggressive. <laughs> This year, thousands of you will have to travel to your business meetings in weather like this. Why risk driving when there's a fast, safe and civilised alternative? and take you on your business trips because of the train. I have to watch myself with this new cleaning job. His nibs here seems to have taken a bit of a shine to me. <coughs> Don't turn me back for a minute, I can tell you. So it's out with me, Mr. Sheen, and I'll get cracking quick as I can. Real nifty is that, Mr. Sheen. Through the house like grease lightning. Brings things up a real treat, it does. Don't they slip out with two or three different polishes either. Mr. Sheen cleans up just about everything. Pity we can't use it on his lordship. Dirty old devil. Mr. Sheen, when you need a faster shine. These days, how do you care for your cat and still look after your purse? It's simple with Kitty Cat Supreme. Good food at a sensible price. So, while your cat's enjoying the firm, juicy chunks packed with tasty nourishment, you're appreciating the value. For the cat in your family, Kitty Cat Supreme. Makes sense for your cat and your purse. When our chef created the recipe for Heinz Minestrone Soup, he insisted on plenty of choice vegetables, plump pimentos, and to give it that extra tang, bacon and noodles, because you can't have minestrone soup without noodles, and a very special blend of herbs and spices. Heinz minestrone. When you know the recipe, it's amazing it fits in the tin. Harp Home Week 2000. Centrally controlled warmth for £699 plus no deposit finance with nothing to pay till September 1. 4646575. No need to get flustered wings down. New savoury toast from Findus, a tasty inside, toasty outside. Sealed in crisp golden toast, there's a delicious filling of ham and cheese. Or seasoned with tomato and onion, there's tasty minced beef. Just grill a new Findus savoury toast for five minutes each side and it's ready to eat. New Findus savoury toasts, they're tasty inside, toasty outside. Findus, success on a plate for you. Who are Britain's number one tyre and exhaust specialists? You know, quick fit Euro. Who can fit tyres and exhausts to any make of car? You know, 
quick fit euro. Who offer a no quibble guarantee that gives protection even against accidental damage for a whole year. And who are helping cut the cost of motoring by aiming to give you the best service and value in town. You know quick fit euro with over 200 centers nationwide we're on your side Series. London 1981. A new force in high quality furniture hits the capital. The name is Wayne's. Why shop around? You'd go a long way to find such high quality at such low prices. Plus, interest free credit for lounge, dining room, and bedroom furniture, and a huge range of carpets and beds. Wade's. We'll sell you the furniture you thought you'd never afford. Okay, let's join the Round Trees Festival. Chocolates with lots of different scents. Each one covered in chocolate, milk, or plain. It's a new box of chocolates, and Round Trees Festival goes on and on. Join the Round Trees Festival. Subject races are. Oh yeah. Show us a cyanide bell. I want is a proper cup of coffee, a proper cup of coffee is what I say. When the kettle blows and that aroma hits your nose, a proper cup of coffee's on the way. When Melita invented filter coffee, they invented the easiest way to make real fresh ground coffee, without the fuss or the bother. Melita has the means to turn the finest coffee beans into a proper cup of coffee right away. Melita, real ground coffee without the grind. There are hundreds of fantastic crackdown prices at Woolworth. Look out for them at your Woolworth store now. You love the change at Woolworth. You're getting ready, they're getting ready to. They're coming on home to you. It's just a little secret, Oxo and you. But just you wait till the flavor comes through. You're gonna make it big. Now, from Creda, a microchip washing machine that thinks for itself and for you. Brilliant. But simple. It monitors the hot water, saving you money. Brilliant. But simple. No need to go through a full wash when you only need a quick rinse. Brilliant. But simple. You can vary the program, but you can't go wrong. Brilliant. But simple. It even tells you if there's a fault. Brilliant. But simple. It's one of the most advanced machines in the world. It's so simple. And brilliant. The Micro Electronic 1000. T.I. Creda. If you can find a better washing machine, cooker, dryer or heater for the money, buy it. There's cars to see and cars to buy at London's Motor Fair. See all the latest models here at London's Motor Fair. It's spectacular. It's spectacular. There's lots to do for everyone at London's Motor Fair. Motor Fair, Earl's Court, October 21st to 31st. It's spectacular. This four-draw divan is one of the hundreds of beds always in stock at the number one stores for bedding choice, UK Olympia and UK Bow.
Saturday night is all entertainment, especially Game for a Laugh at ten past six. Over the past weeks, our stars, the public, have done some amazing things like underwater belly dancing, penny arcade smash and grab, or buying back their own property. What will happen this week? Find out at ten past six and later. Number five. You say number five, Norman. <laughs> I uh, pay. Um, not working, Lenny. Sorry. Sorry. What? Sorry. Is it all right? Uh, on again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the oil rig workers are a fine bunch of lads. They've brought a new vitality to the aliens. They've brought money and, of course, their modern inventions, the wireless and the gramophone. <laughs> Wild Geese at 9.25, plus all these other programs starting with Game for a Laugh, Saturday night on ITV. Last verse, oh, Voltinis, I want listeners and concert party to really sing along now. Oval Team, has there ever been a better way of ending the day? Whenever inflation rears its ugly head, count on Texas to swing into action with big price cuts. New, smooth to the touch, polypurple, cut to $9.99. Black and Decker drill or electric saw, both cut to only $16.99. Berger, magic coat, brilliant white vinyl metal silk, cut to $3.99. Texas natural wood shelf support system, 25% off. Conti shelves now from 99p. Half price Caroline five drawer chests, cut to $19.99. Save and make the most of the big price cuts at Texas Home Care now. After you brush your teeth, do the slooch, the Listament slooch. Slooch with Listament antiseptic mouthwash and feel how clean and fresh your breath is. The Listament slooch works and tastes as good as it works. Queensway's £10 million sellout ends tomorrow. Beds from under £50. Bedroom cabinets, many exclusive to Queensway. Top quality suites and corner groups from under £200. Dining ranges in mahogany and teak veneer. Queensway fit carpets fast and free on massive ranges. Queensway's £10 million sellout ends tomorrow. A golden opportunity for investors looking for extra interest with only three months withdrawal notice. From the Chelsea, who else? These three magazines are fighting a bitter circulation battle to tell you what's happening in London. One or more of them is likely to go under. Who's going to win? Watch the London programme tonight at 11. The author of Catch-22, Joseph Heller, is one of the guests in Radio 4's Midweek on Wednesday morning at five past nine. Next week's Monday film is a powerful western directed by John Huston, with an all-star cast including Burt Lancaster, Lillian Gish, Doug McClure and Audrey Hepburn, who portrays the young girl who becomes the victim of racial prejudice and bigotry. The Unforgiven is the Monday film next week at 9.25. On BBC One tomorrow night, The Flying Machines of Ken Wallace... From his sedate country manor in Norfolk, a retired RAF wing commander has developed a flying phenomenon, the autogyro. In the manor house and the stables behind, the workshops are crammed within Aladdin's cave of aeronautics. Two brand new 2,500 horsepower Bristol Centaurus engines. Two ex-army spotter planes awaiting restoration. Anything remotely connected with flying in any form is meat and drink to Ken Wallace. Since retiring from the RAF 16 years ago, Ken Wallace has been mainly concerned in the design and construction of no fewer than 13 autogyros, each one handmade. The autogyro, in fact, has a very long history. It goes back to the very first successful rotary wing flying machines. Actually, nature invented the first autogyro in the Sycamore Sea. 
The man who built and piloted 007's autogyro in the film You Only Live Twice talks about his work tomorrow on BBC One in The Flying Machines of Ken Wallace at 9.25. Now on BBC One, we travel to the Bavarian countryside with Bellamy's Europe. Torquay is this week's stop for the Antiques Roadshow in 10 minutes at 6 o'clock. First on BBC One at 10 to 6, the news with Jan Leeming. Solidarity's May Day rallies broken up on the streets of Poland. Tens of thousands had turned out for anti-government demonstrations in Warsaw and other major cities. They were met with baton charges, tear gas and water cannon. Tim Sebastian in London has been watching the latest pictures from Poland. That's all for now. The next news on BBC One is at 9.15. Good evening to you. Well, no better prospects on offer, really. The depression here is going to sit tight, more or less. The front as well, staying over that northern area, keeping persistent uh, rain going. And these easterlies in the north are very cold easterlies, quite strong easterlies in places. And the situation staying much the same. So as far as tonight is concerned, over northern England, perhaps getting as far as the border and into parts of Northern Ireland as well and down this western side a fair bit of persistent rain probably easing off a little bit later on in the night and uh, south of that one or two thundery showers about at the moment that'll die away some clear intervals appearing down here and fairly clear up in Scotland but a cold night in those areas and that cold northeasterly wind in those northern areas especially on the eastern side persisting tomorrow. It'll be quite a cold day there. And still some rain in northern England, perhaps southern Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland and this western side. A dull day there. Some brightness in the south, but showers readily developing and some of those showers fairly thundery. The pick of the bunch tomorrow, western Scotland, dry, some sunshine. Good evening. Programmes for Sunday evening on BBC One. At 7.15, House Calls with Walter Matto as a recently widowed doctor who meets the recently divorced Glenda Jackson. I read in a magazine, over the past 20 years, doctors have become the highest paid income group in the entire country. Uh, Mrs. Atkinson, no offence, but you don't know what the hell you're talking oh. about. Do you know how much it costs to run a medical practice? Take a simple routine checkup. I'd love to, I can't afford one. At 8.50, with three of the four finalists already known, Mastermind arrives at the round to select the highest scoring loser to complete the quartet. At 9.30, that's life, and Esther goes to Glasgow to investigate the latest trend for those with a nose for fashion. Mm. Do you want to go? Yeah. I say. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. There's something more to it than shaking hands. There is indeed. Right. You're quite right. <laughs> At 10.15, heart of the matter goes to Amarillo, nuclear weapons capital of the world, whose bishop, Leroy Matheson, spearheads the American moral challenge to the use of nuclear arms. And with orchestra at 10.50 and more music from Barbara Mandrell and her sisters at 11.20, these are Sunday's programmes on BBC One. Now on BBC One, we travel to the southwest of England to find that the Antiques Roadshow has made a stop this week in Torquay. This week, the Antiques Roadshow comes from Torquay, tucked away in a corner of one of the finest natural harbours in the world. For as long as there have been ships, they have found here a safe and welcome anchorage. Indeed, in the 18th and 19th centuries, the Royal Navy's Channel Fleet was based in Torbay during the wars with the French. And at the end of those wars, Napoleon came to Torbay as a prisoner on board HMS Bellerophon on his way to St Helena. And uh, as he saw all... Well, the Sunday film next week is another comedy, A Fine Madness, starring Joan Woodward and Sean Connery as a boisterous poet in New York who accepts an invitation to stay in a mental health institute. That's next Sunday at five past eight. Programmes for tomorrow evening on BBC One. At 7.20, the Dukes of Hazard with more thrills and spills with Luke and Bo. I don't believe it. They're guilty. They are guilty. They're under arrest. At ten past eight, Panorama. On the eve of the Queen's speech, Michael Cockrell profiles the new Prime Minister, talks to people who've known and worked with her, and reports on the influences which have shaped her political views. At 9.25, the secrets of three hungry wives. 
The murder of a playboy millionaire starts an investigation into his affairs with three beautiful women. At 11 o'clock tonight, presented by Valerie Singleton and... Entertainment for all the family. Christmas Eve on BBC One. At five past six, Kids International. At 6.35, Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Underwater adventure, complete with monsters. At 8.40, Terry and June. Big dogs! <laughs> Ladies! Gentlemen! Let's get stuck into Turkey. At 9.25, oh yes I am, oh no you're not. A seasonal look at the great theatrical traditions of Christmas. At 10.20, don't lose your head. You'll pay for that window! You'll pay for it, you hear? Oh. <laughs> Tremendous blood. <laughs> it could never have happened before the revolution. At 11.50, the traditional Christmas liturgy, the Midnight Mass of the Nativity, from the Church of Our Lady and St. Joseph, Hanwell. The start to a festival for all the family, Christmas Eve on BBC One. On BBC Two now, the first of two programmes featuring the music of Chris Barber's Jazz and Blues Band. Here on one, it's zany comedy in The Mike Harding Show. I don't care, it's spontaneous, this show. <laughs> Next week, Joan Crawford stars as a rich, fashionable woman who drinks a lot and adopts a poor, young, but talented violinist played by John Garfield. Humoresque is our midnight movie next Saturday at 11.25. Our Sunday cinema tomorrow night continues a season of films from the writings of Raymond Chandler. Alan Ladd and Veronica Lake star in The Blue Dahlia, beginning tomorrow, later than published, at 10.30. Throughout this Christmas week, BBC Two will be presenting some of the major feature films starring one of America's most versatile actors, Walter Matthau. Tuesday sees him as a wisecracking advertising researcher with his reluctant girlfriend, played by Carol Burnett, in Pete and Tilly. On Christmas Eve, he plays a middle-aged playboy looking for a wealthy woman to wed in A New Leaf. In the front page on Christmas Day, Walter Matthau can be seen in one of his funniest roles as a newspaper editor when he teams up with Jack Lemmon. And on Boxing Day, he plays a woman-weary movie star in The Secret Life of an American Wife. And to open this special Christmas season of film starring Walter Matthau, The Fortune Cookie is tomorrow night on BBC Two beginning at 6.55. Full details, of course, in the Christmas and New Year double issue of Radio Times. Our film tomorrow night is, as you can see, at nine o'clock, and it's the first of three on successive evenings starring Shirley MacLaine, The Turning Point, with Anne Bancroft, Leslie Brown, and, in his screen debut, the famous Russian dancer Mikhail Baryshnikov. It's a moving and dramatic story about the world of ballet and the past rivalry between two women which re-emerges when a leading role is at stake. Shirley MacLaine and Anne Bancroft, who incidentally both began their careers as dancers, are the old rivals and ballerina Leslie Brown is the daughter with the youth and talent to take over. Well, that's the turning point at nine o'clock tomorrow and there you see the rest of the evening with on either side of the film The Lambeth Boys at eight o'clock, an award-winning documentary which begins a three-part series and at five to eleven, Dora Russell who talks about her early life during and after the First World War in the 20th century remembered. The time now is just nine minutes past midnight and before we go, let me tell you that BBC One is staying around they're not going home yet in fact, uh, they've got a Marx Brothers film, Duck Soup, starting in a couple of minutes. In this BBC book... <laughs>
This is BBC Two. In a moment, Mr Smith's Fruit Garden, but first to look at some of this evening's other programmes. At eight o'clock, another episode in the story of Empire Road. Why aren't you wearing the present the Granny sent you, sir? <laughs> Why, well, it's a bit large. <laughs> but it's a nice shirt. Oh, score. A bit large. <laughs> in New Delhi, a whole family could live in that shop. <laughs> Made in Guyana, it says on the label. It ought to read, reared in Guyana. At 8.30, the final part of the paper chase. And at 9.20, Tony Bennett sings saloon songs. At 9.55, Circuit 11 Miami, the series documenting American court cases. After the late news, at 10.50, there's tonight's visit to the International Darts Championship. And at 11.30, a second chance to see the first of a new series, especially for teenagers, something else. Programmes later tonight, here on 2. On BBC One now, except for viewers in Wales and Northern Ireland, there's another glimpse into the future in Tomorrow's World. And here on two, Mr Smith's Fruit Garden, and the third of five programmes in which Geoffrey Smith gives practical advice on how to grow your own fruit. On BBC One shortly, Kit Jensen introduces this week's edition of Top of the Pops. And with the time now at 7.21, here's the mid-evening news on BBC Two with Angela Rippon. Mr Callaghan speaks about the Labour Party conference decisions which have gone against him on re-selection of MPs and control of the election manifesto. The Labour leader said it would be wrong for the National Executive Committee to have sole control over the party manifesto. And I see it happening, that we're not going to solve this country's problems that way. A settlement has been reached in the ten-week-old engineering dispute. Industrial action will be called off almost immediately. Earlier, there had been trouble at the Rosedale Plastic Mouldings Factory at Bedwas in Mid Glamorgan, which has been closed permanently because of the dispute. Queen's Park Rangers manager Tommy Doherty has been taken by detectives to Derbyshire where he's said to be assisting a police investigation. The Pope, continuing his tour of America, has been speaking about the church's position on... A very good evening and welcome to BBC Two. In a moment, Mr Smith's Fruit Garden. But first, a look ahead to the rest of this evening on BBC Two. At 7.35 in Landscapes of England, Professor Hoskins explores the ever-changing coastline of Norfolk. Then at 8 o'clock, Empire Road. Desmond and Royston are determined to see their new football heroes in action. At 8.30, exam nerves lead to an act of desperation in the paper chase. Then at 20 past 9, Tony Bennett sings Tin Pan Alley in the first of a new series. At 5 to 10, Circuit 11 Miami looks at the difference between justice and law and at the effect on the court of a personality clash between the judge and defence attorney. Jack High at 10.45 concludes the first semi-final in the Kodak Masters Bowls tournament. Thursday evening's programmes here on BBC Two. So now, advice on growing currants and gooseberries in the second of five programmes about Mr Smith's fruit garden. Red currants are the most ornamental of all the bush fruits that we grow in our gardens, and they've got the added advantage of succeeding in a shady corner. But and it illustrates broadcasting through the ages, from the days of the 20s up to today's age of satellites and high technology. There are pictures and sounds of the personalities and programmes, together with a BBC shop selling a range of books, records and video cassettes. <laughs> New drama this autumn on BBC Two includes Boys from the Black Stuff, the former gang of tarmac layers now among the Liverpool unemployed. Hey, what now? What chances have you got of leaving school with any qualifications if you're never there in the first place? Qualifications? Well, what's wrong with qualifications? You need nuclear physics to be a bit man these days, Dad. I've got no money. Oh, well, I mean... That explains everything. Yeah, I'm never having a hard time with the HP. I mean, all those friggin' installments. 
You send the stuff back then? I would if I could, but I've sold most of it already. Here I am, a man. <laughs> a man. A man with no job. Looking for one. In fact, trying to find a Scarlet Pimpernel. Take a look around you, girl. We form the majority round here. Only some fellas are lucky enough to have wives who recognise that fact. All right. I can take it, you know, Logo. I can take it because I know my beliefs are right. I've been brought up by my dad to support what's worth supporting. Yeah? I didn't know your dad followed Everton. A series of five new plays by Alan Beesdale. Boys from the Black Stuff on BBC Two starting next Sunday at ten past ten. Now on to our film of the week. Laurence Olivier, Alan Bates and the National Theatre Company feature in the classic production, first seen as a stage play in 1967, of Chekhov's Three Sisters. And I must tell you that as Philip mentioned, Who Are the Children is on tonight. It is on BBC One, but it's now at 11 o'clock, an hour later than Philip mentioned, because obviously of the events that have taken place in the news today, which is why we're here on BBC Two. But of course we're on BBC Two and we are still as good as ever, I have to say. <coughs> what do you mean? Hey, <coughs> what do you mean this is the right place? Of course it's the right place. <coughs> This is the key. Yeah, come here. This is the original broom cupboard. When Children's <coughs> BBC was first invented, this was where it was done, you know, because this, <coughs> all this side used to be BBC One, and it's now BBC Two. <coughs> yes, Gordon used to be in exactly that position. He used to sit there. <coughs> wow. Look, sh be quiet for a second, because I've got to tell you that part two of the Fantastic Max story is on today, followed by Maid Marian and her Merry Men at around 25 to 5. News Out is at 5 o'clock, and at 5 past 5, your top show, which is... <coughs> But now here is Darren Day, you can hear the clock ticking. Yeah. Hello, this is Clockwise and I'm Darren Dane. For the next 15 minutes, keep your eyes glued to the screens as we play the most exciting game on telly, Clockwise. But time and Darren Day will be back with more Clockwise next week, but it'll be on Children's BBC One, won't it, Ed? <laughs> it will. I've got to say, being on BBC Two has caused a few problems. Look, we've had to have all these new pictures made. <laughs> and then there's... Oh, there's wrong one. Not meant to be him, but look, they've all got two more. Very clever, isn't it? Oh, I can tell you. But, of course, Maid Rain and a Merry Men is on at um, 25 to News Round and Blue Peter. That's the way this afternoon looks, doesn't it? From Naina Cherry Buffalo's stance, Ed here, could you please introduce for me part two of Fantastic Max's story, stopping on the one. <laughs> Fantastic Max! <laughs> if you've only just joined us on BBC Two, a very good afternoon to you. Now, something slightly different about Children's BBC today, of course, because we're on BBC Two, but on any other normal day, how do I put it together? Uh, uh, no, no, Ed. No. Oh, as you can see, this is the extremely busy Children's BBC office. Not everyone's here today. There's Sylve over there. She's a very, very busy production secretary. Then, of course, there's Ian, the big boss. He negotiates with Ed about just how many records Ed can make this year. And then Freya. She's our PA. I don't know what PAs do, but they're very nice. Now, it's nearly time for me to go on air. There's a few things I need. One is a BP script. When BP's on, so I know what's happening. And two is the very important Children's BBC box. Without this, life wouldn't be worth living. Now, you're probably wondering, where does my producer sit? Well, she sits next door. Let's go and see her. Okay, well, that's not a problem. I've got to pass it You've waited for this moment. Say hello. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, that's enough. Now, this is a con sheet, and what it does is tell me what programmes are on this afternoon and everything that I'm going to get up to in between the shows. And the producer and I have come up with some good ideas, so I'd better go and do them. Okay, here we go. Um, I could do all sorts of things, like on the middle monitor, I can put myself up, and look, that's a trail machine, and there's what's gone air. I do like it in here. Anyway, I've got to put my jacket on because it's nearly time to start the afternoon. So that's how it done. I filmed that a couple of weeks ago, but can I quickly say thank you very much to Fifi Fotham, the big producer, and I'd like the money for making that now, if you'd be so kind. Now, though, Maid Marian. A boiled egg with soldiers. That's what I fancy.
greatest disaster in the SOE's history began on the 6th of March 1942 when the Germans arrested the executive's first Dutch radio operator. For nearly two years, the Germans were able to transmit bogus messages down captured radio links with London. They called this the Englandspiel, and it cost 54 agents their lives. Only three survive, and they tell their story at 9.25 next Tuesday. The full story of the Special Operations Executive is in this BBC book to be published on the 4th of October. Back this week with a new series, Tomorrow's World goes to France and finds out how Parisians are coping with a familiar, messy problem. There's a new and devilishly simple way of reproducing holograms. And how Norwegians are making space by burrowing inside mountains. Tomorrow's World in Norway, just part of the new series. Can you afford to miss it? That's on Thursday at 6.55. And now, before we go on with tonight's programmes, the football results. In the first leg of the first round of the UEFA Cup, Bohemians 3, Rangers 2, Glentoran 1, Standard Liège 1, Reykjavik 0, QPR 3. And in Division 2 of the Cannon League, Birmingham 0, Portsmouth 1, Blackburn 2, Cardiff 1, Middlesbrough 2, Wimbledon 4, Sheffield United 1, Crystal Palace 2, Shrewsbury 3, Oldham 0. In the third division, Bristol Rovers 2, Bradford City 0, Cambridge 0, Preston 3, Doncaster 0, Millwall 1, Hull 2, Gillingham 0, Newport 1, Bournemouth 1, Orient 0, Burnley 2, Plymouth 1, York 1, Rotherham 1, Brentford 1, Swansea 2, Bolton 1, Walsall 3, Reading 1, Wigan 1, Lincoln 0. And in the fourth division, Aldershot 0, Peterborough 0, Blackpool 1, Port Vale 1, Bury 2, Swindon 0, Northampton 0, Rochdale 0, Scunthorpe 2, Crewe 3, and Torquay 1, Darlington 1. The Sunshine Cab Garage readies itself for a wedding in 30 minutes in taxi. But first on BBC One we join Simon King for a look at the wildlife of the South as the season turns to autumn in this week's King's Country. Britain's John Lloyd is fighting tonight for a place in the quarter-finals of the US Open Tennis Championships. If he succeeds, he'll be the first Briton to do it since Mark Cox 18 years ago. On Thursday in the new season, BBC One presents the award-winning Hot Shoe Show featuring the dazzling dancing of Wayne Sleep and Bonnie Langford. series of the Hot Shoe Show starts on Thursday at 8.30 on BBC One. In 15 minutes on BBC Two, how the myth was made. George Story visits the Isle of Arran to discover the reality of life there since an earlier documentary about the island by the distinguished filmmaker Robert Flaherty. In 55 minutes, a new series of King's Country from the camera of the award-winning young filmmaker Simon King. That follows a new documentary series about the cloak and dagger activities of the Special Operations Executive. This BBC book tells the story of the SOE, the Special Operations Executive, 1940-46, to and it'll be in the bookshops this Thursday. Next Tuesday evening, we investigate a special operation mounted jointly in 1949 by the British Secret Service and the CIA at the height of the Cold War. Their mission was to bring down the smallest and most vulnerable of the new Soviet-controlled regimes, Albania. That's The Cost of Treachery, next Tuesday at 9.25.
In Sports Night tomorrow, highlights of one of the matches in the second round of the European Club competitions. Can Liverpool again overcome Benfica at Anfield? Can Manchester United and Spurs win the initiative at Eindhoven and Bruges? From the Hexagon in Reading, there's exciting action in the quarter-final stage of the world's richest snooker competition. And Rugby Union highlights from Cardiff Arms Park, with the home side take on the Australians in the third match of their British tour. Sports Night tomorrow at 10.15. And there's sport on BBC Two now as David Vine introduces further international snooker as Steve Davis plays Dave Taylor. Here on BBC One we have the Lenny Best Quintet and Ruth Allen with Jazz at the Park. The people I know are they turn on show Just where Mary from the dairy fell for me Will it be nice, lady? There'll never be another woman. But I'll make them today, that. Programs for Sunday evening on London Weekend Television begin at 7.15 when Bob Monkhouse introduces another round of Family Fortunes. Something you're asked to do at the doctor's. Um, just open your chest to get the stethoscope on to... I think surgeon opens your chest. <laughs> just open up your blouse and to feel if you've got lumps. <laughs> at 7.45, a man called Sloan tries his luck at the tables whilst in search of the deadly Venus microbe, ably assisted by handyman Talk. Talk, I'm over the wall. I don't know if it's the right wall, but I'm over it. I'm going to tune out now. Stay close, will you, Talk? I may need a friend. That you've got, Thomas. Then at 8.45, situation comedy with him and now his listen, magic. Fella, and listen good. Like I said last week... Upstairs, your ball game. Down here, my movie. Right? My movie! Later at 9.30, award-winning writer Victoria Wood's new play, Nearly a Happy Ending, follows the fortunes of two girls in search of the bright lights. to be target weight. No, I am. So what now? Programmes for your Sunday evening here on London Weekend Television. Britain's withdrawal from Dunkirk is looked at in Comrades in Arms next. As long as I'm responsible for your teeth, you're using a fluoride toothpaste. But I want something for fresh breath. Ladies, ladies, why not try double protection Aquafresh? Aquafresh gives you the fluoride of the best toothpaste, plus a clear blue stripe for fresher breath, all in one toothpaste. Well, if it has my fluoride... And my breath freshness, we'll, we'll take Aquafresh. Aquafresh. Double protection Aquafresh fights decay and freshens breath. Us frogs hop everywhere. So there's only one way I can ever see my folks. I hop on National Express. Well, they hop all over the shop. Just look at these roots. And the nice thing is you can relax in one of these comfy seats and enjoy the countryside. For me, it's the only way to travel. Thanks, James. Next time you're hopping off, take it easy. Hop off with National Express. Son, must be late, Pierre. Thanks, Claus, Mister. Could you help? No. We seem to have run out of money. Well, actually, we're trying to cash these. American Express Travelers checks. What's the problem? Well, the bank. Lady, these are dollar checks. You don't need a bank. American Express dollar travelers checks are widely accepted in shops, hotels, and restaurants all over the states. You folks have a nice day now. American Express travelers checks. They're the ones Americans know best. Come and talk, talk to the middle and come and talk to the listening bank. Talk about your savings plans to make the most of weekly pay. How to use a checkbook, buying gear the easy way. How to stash a bit away, ready for your holiday, meeting friends along the way. People have problems over the years, the middle and bank. Has very good ears and it hears come and talk talk to the middle and come and talk to the listening bank meet the dazzling new Talbot Solara 
A car with the power to light up your life. Shining new elegance. Bright new technology. Sparkling economy with performance. A brilliant seven car range from Talbot. Solara. The power to light up your life. Need driving lessons? Ring Teledata on 200 0200. At 4.30 this afternoon, Father Duddleswell's problem with the neighbour's pigeons looks like being solved in Bless Me Father when he's offered an old church bell. And at 5 o'clock, you can see why Oliver's sent to prison in the final episode of The Further Adventures of Oliver Twist. And that's where, for the moment, we have to leave Wembley Stadium. But we will be back in just five minutes' time with more from Simple Minds and the Nelson Mandela concert. That's after the news. This is BBC Two, and now the news with Moira Stewart. Good evening. The Labour leader, Neil Kinnock, has said the party must rethink its policies or it won't get elected. He told a rally in Durham that he'd face any rival, adversary or critic to argue the need for change. But Mr Kinnock's attempts to change Labour policies have again been criticised by Tony Benn. Mr Kinnock chose yesterday's transport to bring tomorrow's message to his party. No one and nothing would be allowed to get in the way of his plans to modernise Labour and its policies to win power. Yesterday was gone, he declared. People didn't live there anymore. A billion people all over the world have been watching today's Nelson Mandela concert from Wembley. But the Conservative MP John Carlyle has again criticised the BBC's decision to show the event. He described it as the worst attempt of political bias for years. Wembley witnessed some stylish sprinting as it opened its gates to the greatest gathering of recording stars since Live Aid. 72,000 packed into the stadium. Millions more watched on television around the world as Harry Belafonte set the concert on course with a tribute to Nelson Mandela. He is a symbol of their fight against the cruel and unjust system of apartheid. The first song took up the cry of freedom. Free, free, set them free. Come on. The Eurythmics delivered their message. inside a musical birthday card. Critics of the concert have alleged that its proceeds will go to the African National Congress, but backstage its president denied the charge. It's an absurd uh, statement. And I, I would like to suggest that the people who make it know they are not telling the truth. On stage, the 10-hour birthday party was continuing with Natalie Cole. Nelson Mandela, we love you! Finally, tonight's headlines again. Neil Kinnock has told his critics Labour must change course to win the next election. But Tony Benn says that the new policies being considered have been tried and don't work. A Soviet priest who spent over 40 years in Labour camps has been freed in Moscow and music stars are paying a day-long tribute to Nelson Mandela at his birthday concert. Richard Whitmore will be here with News View's Review of the Week on BBC Two after the concert. And our main news tonight is on BBC One at 5 to 10. Good night. Now BBC Two returns you to Wembley for the Nelson Mandela birthday concert.
Welcome back to Wembley Stadium. Now, we must explain why you haven't yet seen Stevie Wonder performing live on stage. His appearance has at least been delayed because of the theft of his computer and all its software from the side stage. Now, the police have apprehended a man who apparently did take that, but in the meantime, Stevie is trying to work out a way that he can still take part in today's concert. We'll keep you posted on that throughout the evening. Meantime, back to the outside and still live on stage. It's Simple Minds. Match of the Day's signature tune is one of the many tracks included in a comprehensive collection from BBC Records of theme music from radio and television, called On the Air. It's available both as an album or cassette from your local record shops, or by ringing 200 o 200. Tomorrow on BBC One, a night on the town, with the music of Gershwin, Berlin, Coward and Cole Porter. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where Harlem sits? But now the risk. Oh, my honey, oh, my honey, and hurry, let's meander. Ain't you going, ain't you going to the leader man, rag a leader man? You're the top. You're the Coliseum. You're the top. You're the Louvre Museum. Or I'll be there, putting on the top hat. A star-studded cast for a television musical spectacular. A Night on the Town, tomorrow at 9.35 on BBC One. And the score now on BBC One is conducted by Quizmaster Joseph Cooper. The turn of Kieran Prendival to carry out the Tomorrow's World investigation. He has a very different subject, the controversial treatment for severe depression known as electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT for short. It seems that only recently have scientists begun to ask the fundamental question, does ECT work? Tomorrow's World at Large, next Thursday at 8.20. All the rest of tonight's programmes on BBC One look like this. Next we have the news, and at 9.25, the life and times of David Lloyd George, with the politician carried to Downing Street on the tide of war. At 10.25, Campus, the last film in this documentary series, discovers what lies ahead of Edinburgh University's graduates. For many of them, a job well below their expectations, or worse, no job at all. Tom Jones puts his uh, talents to good use at 10.55, as does special guest Dion Warwick, and at 11.20, there's the 20th century remembered the experiences of Lord Hailsham. Well, it's now just 13 minutes past one, and time to take our leave of you for another day. All of us here on BBC Two wish all of you a very good night. Fine, thank you. What's your story? Well, I, I'm in young girls' pants. I manufacture <laughs> pants. I I don't feel that there's any great interest in it. Clearly, you must have felt the world wanted to know what your private parts looked like, and now the world knows. Dummies! 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 A consonant, please, Carol. C. A vowel. That is E. Uh, another vowel. Another vowel. I. Consonant. 